Because God wants to pay you know and God wants to say something to me. So he wrote this gospel, this, mm -hmm. this book of good news. Yes. Good news. He wrote this gospel. He died right in and say, in the beginning mm -hmm. uh -huh, was the word. Yeah. Uh, he said, I read Genesis and I saw Jesus in Genesis. In the book. Uh -huh. uh, because when God says, let there be, yeah. he spoke the word. Uh -huh. He said, let there be light. And there was. Mm -hmm. Jesus yes. says, I am the light of the world. Yes, sir. And so here, John said, in the beginning was the word, and the word was God, and the word was God. And we know John was talking about Jesus because in verse 14 he says, and the word became flesh. Yeah. The only begotten of the Father, full of grace mm -hmm. and truth. Begotten. Then he, let's jump over to St. John 3.16. And he says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten. Gotten out of himself. Son, that whosoever shall believe in shall and not perish, but shall have everlasting life. So here, John is preaching grace. John is talking about the grace of God. And so now we find John in this particular setting, he remembered something that Jesus told him that happened. Mm -hmm. And so John records in this, 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 this fourth chapter, mm -hmm. let's look at verse 29. Okay. John says, John says that a woman says, come see a man. Uh -huh. Which told me all things that ever I did. <coughs> then she said, is this not the Christ? Hmm. It was a rhetorical question. She said, "Is that in other words, this has to be him?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So come because he said some things to me, and it's not only what he said, but how he said it. All right, all right. All right. Amen. That ble that blessed me the most. So my subject, the subject where the subject Lord gives is come see the man. Uh -huh. Look at your neighbor and say, the man. The man. We thank God for a man. Uh -huh. Pastor Giles. Yes. Amen. And when you come see a man, uh -huh. he's going to introduce you to the man. Look at your neighbor and say, the man. Now we're celebrating a man who has introduced for 20 years people to the man. Do I have any witnesses? Uh, come see a man. Every time we come into the house of the Lord, our eyes should be fixed on Jesus. We should be looking for Jesus Christ as Lord. And when a man is preaching Jesus and introducing me to the man, I don't have problems with respecting a man. I have no problems in honoring a man. I have no problems in sowing to a man because this man has showed me to the man. Do I have any witnesses here? And his name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. So what 